Hey everyone, in this video we wanted to talk to you a little bit about opinion creep and invincible ignorance. Um, what is that? Yeah, so, oh man, how do we even start this one? Uh, basically, most people fail to recognize that having a thought doesn't make our thinking the truth. People form a bunch of opinions, they have thoughts that they elevate to opinions that then they hold as convictions. And the big problem is that the opinions and convictions that many people hold, um, the people forming them are so not knowledgeable about the area in which they're forming an opinion that they aren't even able to recognize their own incompetence. And they become so dead set in their belief that they're basically uh, immune to external uh, feedback telling them that they're ignorant. And so I see this a lot with people when I'm trying to change like mindset stuff too. Like you present a new idea and they're just like, no, that's not how it is. It's like, and they'll revolt back. It makes it very difficult to have meaningful discourse in today's world. Well, and you can't change. Like, I can't help someone change if they're unwilling to admit yeah. that it's an opinion that is based on false constructs. Yeah, right? and it's, it's becoming an increasingly uh, prevalent problem with the ability for anyone to do a Google search. Uh, people now do a Google search, read some articles on Google, form a conclusion based on very, very limited evidence that they found, and then start to talk as if they're an expert on the subject. And this permeates into areas outside of the direct area of investigation that they were Googling to begin with. Um, especially if they like get offline and don't interact with people in the real world. The fact that they can be Dr. Google uh, makes them think that they have a more informed opinion than they actually do. But because they are so ignorant, they don't even recognize their own ignorance. You know, um, it's, it's a little ironic, really, because the knowledge and intelligence that are required to be good at a task are often the same qualities that are needed to know that you're not good at a task. And so if you lack that knowledge and intelligence, then you remain ignorant to the fact that you're not good at that task. And you just go about thinking everything's okay. And that you're badass. Yes. Right? Um, so something, too, this is also seen in OCD. Uh, you believe, like, bad thought OCD. A lot of people think that they're going to do something bad, right? And their therapist or any therapist will tell you, no, you're not going to. This is giving you anxiety. Your brain's just making these thoughts up. And they are convinced that these thoughts are real or they need to wash their hands 400 times, like, these thoughts are real, or they build that. It's the same, it's the same cognitive loop yeah. that you're talking about. Yeah, uh, many individuals, many self-proclaimed experts are not experts, but they believe that the opinions and convictions they hold are the truth and is how things are. Uh, they cannot engage in meaningful discourse because they know that they're right. And, and their ego won't let them set their beliefs aside to even entertain like kind of evidence. Right? Yeah, but even if, if they do entertain any counter evidence you provide, their ignorance on the topic prevents them from giving it a meaningful assessment. Like, it basically, their ignorance prevents them from gaining knowledge and acknowledging other insights into the topic because and so then they just become dumber and dumber while everyone is advancing around them right yeah but because they're so sure of themselves but it also means they become more dug in with their own convictions because if they're so ignorant that they're unable to evaluate external or uh, alternative evidence against their belief paradigm then they're going to erroneously conflate their inability to meaningfully assess this counter evidence as them being right. And they're just going to become more sure of themselves. 
until you get to a point where it doesn't matter what you say, they just know they're right because they've dealt with all of these other arguments before. And in every time, it, wa it wasn't a strong argument in their uninformed opinion. That doesn't mean it actually wasn't a strong argument. It just means that to them, because they have no idea what they're talking about, that they just couldn't give it a valid assessment. Um, and so you and me aren't experts. We aren't. Uh, neither of us have PhDs. Um, and so we normally always use I don't qualifiers. even think people with PhDs are complete experts. I'm not some dumb people. <laughs> I think that's a poor. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, well, okay, let me back up. The point is, <laughs> you the point to. is neither, <laughs> neither, of us, neither of us are experts, and most of the people watching this video are not experts, and that's okay. Like, we all have areas that we're interested in. What I meant by that is that, oh, even if I had a PhD, I would not think I was an expert. Like, there's always something to learn, and we're always progressing as a civilization, right? And so to walk into that and think that you have a degree and so you're an expert, that's what I meant by that. Yeah. I like, I'm always open to more information, and it's more of a mentality that me and you both hold, I believe. So I like you so much. It's because we both ad can admit when we're wrong and we accept other ideas. Little. Yeah. But well, we, we consider them. Yeah. Not to say that they're always right. And that's, uh, that was adorable. <laughs> I know, she's so cute. Um, and that's just something, that's kind of the main point that we want to make here is that it's okay to have opinions and convictions about talking. Uh, you just need to acknowledge that you could be wrong. You're, you could be wrong. And we all could be. It's not just you. Yeah. And you're not always going to be in a position, you know, it's just kind of a thought in the back of your head is you're not always going to be in a position to reliably evaluate information that you're being presented with. Because Dr. Google doesn't know everything. Yeah. And just to give a personal example of this. Uh, I would consider myself very well versed at navigating nutritional science and the literature surrounding it. But I can still get tripped up with like the types of statistical methods used in studies. I am not an expert. I can't evaluate whether those were appropriate statistical methods. And that would completely change the results of a study. Uh, at the same time, um, you know, the types of tests they use. Like, what if I'm looking at a test tube study and they use certain assays to conduct their experiment? I don't know if those are valid or not. I don't know if they're valid for some things and not others because that's not an area where I have any knowledge. And so... Yeah, you temper your language around that very well. And I think that's the point. Yeah. But, it's not being so damn sure of yourself and your language, too. Yeah, when you're coming across with your opinions. It's it's keeping in mind that people uh, that challenge the position to hold, they might know something that you don't. Even if you think they're done. Yeah. Uh, so just you know, don't be full of yourself. No one, no one's really going to be an expert on a topic because topics are all rapidly changing, especially in nutritional science. Um. Yeah. So just keep an open mind. And uh, I guess that's it. So if you like the content of this video, then great. That's what we're trying to do. And if you know someone who you think the content of this video would help, then please send them this video. Thanks. Bye.